So what about fish? Um, why does it keep coming up as a benefit? Uh, well, there's good reason for it. The more fish people eat, the less red meat they're eating. And the more red meat they're eating, the less processed red meat they're eating. And so you can actually imp have gradations of what kind of you know, poison you're doing. Is it you know, heavy metal, lead versus arsenic versus you know, eating cyanide or something? You, there are gradations of things that, are, that harm human health. Um, and we should do everything we can to avoid them all. But if you're not going to avoid them all, then avoid the worst ones. And so that's why you can look at a Mediterranean diet. Um, and this was published uh, years ago and then republished last summer because of some randomization issues. Uh, the new analysis came out <clears throat> very similar to the old one, that there was a 30% decrease in all-cause um, uh, incidence of cardiovascular uh, uh, events. That is, heart attack, stroke, and death were reduced over a relatively short period of time by, 5 or by 30%. What P and everyone talks about this. And they give the Mediterranean diet awards uh, for being the best diet. I actually would have given them the awards for doing a randomized prospective uh, trial and then publishing the results because there's just not a lot of that. Uh, we need more of it. Uh, people dedicated to that. But this was right in the manuscript. This says that there was no decrease in overall death with the Mediterranean diet. Okay? And in fact, if you look carefully at the events, um, there actually wasn't a decrease in heart attacks either. The big decrease was in stroke. Now, now that's pretty important. So, but you should tell people that if, if they're going to try to improve their health with Mediterranean diet, that they're, they're not going to live longer. You don't have to worry about your retirement funds. But what you do have to uh, be, you know, feel confident in is there's less likely that your family's going to have to push you around in a wheelchair if that's what you want. But, and, and you're helping cardiology out because you'll live long enough to have that heart attack. Okay. That's really not what we want. Okay. So they heard it. They heard this over and over again. The problem with the Mediterranean diet is that it contains animals and less. Uh, and so they actually, the, I think, did the right thing. People criticized this article uh, from the Predimed group uh, as being a post hoc analysis, that it wasn't the primary event. But gosh, they took the data and then they reanalyzed it for how many vegetables did you eat? Um, and they actually published a so-called pro-vegetarian food pattern inside the Mediterranean diet, and here it is. There is a mortality benefit for the Mediterranean diet if you don't eat animals. If you eat more of those, those highest two quintiles um, uh, on the right, where you're eating much more vegetables and little, if any, animal products, uh, actually does show al almost a 40% decrease in mortality. And so, yeah, the Mediterranean diet does uh, uh, save lives if you do it right, which is a plant-based Mediterranean diet. Okay, how about dairy? Uh, it's worth putting in here because you saw that it seemed to be less than several of the uh, other meat products. Uh, you know that it you know, was in, originally in the Ornish diet to have low-fat dairy. It's in uh, the DASH diet that lowered blood pressure. Um, and then you had the PURE trial. Uh, coming out and saying that there is a significant decrease in mortality in the 21 countries if you're doing dairy. Um, so I think that this is a wonderful study that shows us again the, uh, the power of substitution. That if you're doing dairy instead of bacon, or you're getting calories from dairy instead of red meat, you are actually going to do substantially better. Now, they didn't do that kind of analysis to see what is it really substituting for. But there are so many candidates uh, in the pure countries, such as more calories from dairy, less calories from, from processed sugar, uh, processed flour, um, that I wouldn't be surprised that they come up with this. But if you look at the American population, people with risk factors, again, dairy itself actually increases mortality, not decreases. How about nuts? <clears throat> we have good data from the Adventist Health Studies, because I know we've, a lot of people are, are proposing that the plant uh, based diet be nut free because of the oil content and uh, I have to admit that in my practice anyone who's overweight I don't uh, have them doing nuts because the fat you eat is the fat you wear and there is monounsaturated fat and a little bit of saturated fat some polyunsaturated fat in most nuts um, but the data is pretty clear that if you're getting protein from meat that's about a 61 percent increase in mortality 
And if you're getting it from nuts and seeds, you have about a 40% decrease in mortality. Again, is that a substitutionary benefit? Probably. Uh, but there may be an absolute value. It's something that we would love to have a randomized prospective trial comparing nutty kinds of vegan diets versus no nuts, uh, but we don't have that data yet.